Hello everybody, this is Hypersonic and welcome back to Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. In today's episode, I'll be completing Lost Labyrinth Zone. Now, as you have seen from this menu, I've already gone through the stage. The reason why this is the case is that in my original recording for Episode 3, the footage... Excuse me. The footage was laggy. OBS really does not like this game. And the footage got really laggy here and in Mad Gear Zone. So I'm going to finish the game again. I will show you my successful attempt at Special Stage 7. Because that was not laggy. But I will just play through the rest of the game as normal. I will talk about what I said in the uh, recording. So I'll even give maybe snippets of it if it's not that laggy. And if it is laggy, I'll just put it in... Um, uh, in this video with different, uh, gameplay in the background, but yeah. Uh, let's get started with ep- uh, not episode one. <laughs> uh, this is episode one, but let's- you know what I mean. Let's get continued with, uh, the game. And we're gonna replay this act again, so... Alright. Lost Lab Zone Acts 1. Now, in the original video, I commented about the song here. Which I do like this song, and this stage is a Labyrinth Zone, um, copy, essentially. It's not the first time we've seen, uh, Labyrinth Zone be copied, I believe. Yeah, Title Tempest. Um. But the stage, uh, it's not mostly gimmick around being underwater. It's actually gimmicked around... At least this particular act is actually gimmicked around the, uh... There we go. There we go. Uh, that tripped me up in the original recording. Alright. Ooh. Alright. Oh, really? Ah. Oh. How was I supposed to know that was gonna be a spike? But this particular stage is themed around those balls that fall. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm playing much better because uh, getting to special stage 7 was really something, wasn't it? Okay, and I know this is a bit breaking the continuity of Let's Play, but... Again, this is my second time playing through this zone, so I'm turning into Super Sonic now, but... Um, getting, getting Chaos Emerald 7 was difficult because the special stage was really difficult. And you're going to see the footage of that after I clear this act. You'll see the footage of that. And oh yeah, this ball. Uh, again, I was warned about this by one of my friends. Because apparently this stage was difficult because of the ball. The ball rolling mechanic. That was really difficult about this stage, which... I don't know, I don't see how it's that difficult, to be honest. I still have yet to die from it. It's actually very simple. And I can just skip through this. There we go. Doesn't even take away my shield. Okay. Okay, I, I'm not- alright. Stay down there, don't jump up. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, some of these traps got me back when I was playing this. Oh. Even with Super Sonic, it's difficult, but, uh, Super Sonic in this game is, just like in the rest of the games, he has increased speed, increased jump height, and whatnot. And he has his own original theme, um, in this game, just like in Sonic 2. In Sonic 3 Knuckles, he did not have his original theme, they just reused the invincibility theme as his, uh, theme. Which was really weird. And yeah, this is the theme of Super Sonic, and I like this song. Uh, I like this game's soundtrack. Alright. Oh. Oh, okay. Alright, I forgot about that enemy placement. Oh, 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 right. It's, it's inverted when you go the opposite way around. It's the only time you'll ever encounter it like that in this entire game, but hey. There we go. And here's the final part of the stage, just gotta keep rolling. Alright, since it's going to the right, you have to go to the left to balance Sonic. Sonic isn't doing that just because of, you know, reasons. Like, no, you have to actually balance him, and... It's not that difficult to balance Sonic on this. It really is not. 
Yeah, just be uh, conservative and sporadic a bit with how you balance them, and it's not that difficult. But yeah, I made it through Act 2 as Super Sonic, and I'm going to show you guys the footage for the special stage, so I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, oh my. Oh, no. Well, that's stupid. Well, I guess it's going to go back and play that stage anyways. No, I was literally going to press the pause button. I will literally press it just as it happened. All right, I'm back here finally. I hope I'm not wasting my time here and actually I can retry this as much as I want because I unlocked it. Because I remember you could actually replay special stages, but I don't know if there's one, if you can only replay the ones you've defeated or whatnot. So I may be wasting my time here with this. Those three rings can screw off all I care. Alright, that's the that's the hardest one dealt with though. Alright, I think that might be it. Because these are the last six rings. Nice, you love to see it. You love to see it. Very base. Nice! Nice! I got the last Chaos Emerald. You love to see it. There you go. Alright, All right, that was the footage for the special stage, but um, some of my thoughts of the stage, I thought that after experiencing the ball rolling, I thought it was really easy and that the people that were complaining about it just had a skill issue with the game. I'm starting to think that many people that don't like this game or hate on it too much just have a bit of an issue with something. Probably a skill issue though, to be honest. Which I still agree with that take to right now. I, I only filmed that episode yesterday, but yeah. Yeah, but so, in so far, even after finishing the game today, I still think a lot of the complaints for this game are just nonsensical for most of the part. This game, this game's all right. It's not the best Sonic game out there. It's not Sonic Unleashed or Sonic CD or Sonic Generations or Sonic Lost World. But the game ain't as bad as people say it is. I think the outrage over this game is just overblown by a lot. And this song, I love this song. Listen to it.
Oh man, this song gets really good. I really like it. It's one of my favorites in the soundtrack, and it is my favorite Lost Labyrinth track. Um. Okay. Um, Super Sonic, the thing about Super Sonic is that his homing attack has more force behind it. The Spin Dash has some force around it too. Uh, it's just generally really, he's just really powerful in this game. And oh boy, here we go. We gotta make a jump here. There we go. Jump once, jump twice. I watched back the footage and every single time it was in the minecart section, it was just awful. Not the worst, but it was just awful. Like, it was actually lagging the footage quite a lot. Okay. There we go. Oh, nice. We're not done yet. We have another part of the level to go, still. Ah. Nope, I'm not letting that happen. Oh my god. There we go. And I think this is the final checkpoint, because we have a puzzle here to solve in this level. Okay. And those flames do go out over time. They do go out over time. Okay. And oh, I have to jump up to here. Thank God I'm Super Sonic, because that would have been a very difficult jump to make. Uh, I actually used Super Sonic during this section, too, in the OG uh, version of the video. Oh. Yeah, that one up is not that difficult to get. One, two, three, four. Oh, that oh, one's fast enough. All right, yeah, four because Sonic four. All right, and yeah, doing that will make the homing attack work like that. All right, nice. And uh, we still have more to go. We're near the end of the stage, though, I think. Okay. Yep, we're near the end of the stage. All right, now there are two difficult, not two difficult jumps, but just two jumps, and if you miss them, I believe you fail. I don't know, I never failed them. Okay. And wow. They want me to move to the right. I didn't know they want me to move to the right. Okay. I thought that was like automatic. And oh, those hurt me. Well, that shows just how much I relied on Supersonic. All right, so now this can actually be different. All right, so you have to actually move to the right. Okay. All right, jump again. There we go. And there we go. There we go. Yes, I don't care if it's pointless. I'm still going to get my Super Sonic. I worked hard for it. Nice. Act 2 is completed. Okay, Lost Labyrinth Zone Act 3. But more so on uh, about uh, replaying this game again. Am I mad at this game for it? No, it's just an OBS issue. And I tried the gaming bar, which is why I'm using to film this, and it was not lagging in the areas where the OBS was lagging. You know, Lost Labyrinth. <laughs> but I did not test it out in Lost Labyrinth. I tested it out in um, the final level because it was lagging hard there. Like, it was lagging hard, and I'm not going to give you guys that laggy of footage. I know episode 1 and 2 are a bit laggy, but not enough to be that big an issue. But jeez, the final boss was so laggy in the footage. Like, it was literally a presentation. It's the worst I've ever seen my video lagged in years. And things like this were the reason for why I avoided using OBS for a long time. I no longer avoid OBS. I'm actually... I actually like OBS, but only when it's games that are actually 2D, not games like this that are technically 3D. So I'm going to use this for the rest of Episode 1 and for the entirety of Episode 2. Which I know Episode 2 is more graphically enhanced than Episode 1, far more. Okay. Okay. All right, I didn't get, I didn't drown there. I was getting the drowning music there in the original recording, and I'm just gonna turn to Supersonic. Okay, but the music here in this area, I thought the music was a bit sad when I first heard it. I don't know. It kind of does sound like that. And, oh, this part of the stage. We're at the end of the stage, though. Wait, no, we're not. We're on this slide. Okay. Oh my God, the movement here is so confusing. Okay. 
Yeah, I see that's a reference to the Labyrinth Zone here. There we go. Alright, and Speed Shoes. Alright, now we're faster. Oh god, they decided to do this. Okay, this is the only time there's a moving wall in this game. The other moving wall, I'll deal with it when we get to it. I don't care about that one up. Screw it. Okay. Nice. There we go. Okay. Alright, shield. Alright, now we're at the end of the stage. Okay. This stage ain't that bad. Okay. Ooh, I didn't I didn't see this here in the original uh, original video. Almost said photo. I am recording this at night time. I should I should be preparing for sleep. It's 8:37 p.m. I I'm trying to go to sleep at 10 at night, but I haven't been doing that. I've been falling asleep at like 3 a.m. But I'm um, glad that my sleep schedule hasn't been insanely ruined, though. Thank God. I hated my sleep schedule last month. It was awful. I was, like, getting four hours of sleep at a time and I had to sleep twice throughout the day. I hate that. But playing this game is certainly a way for me to avoid that sleep. Okay. Alright. Yeah, there's a switch underneath that. You want to press that and get up to here. And we had to get through this. And I remember when I first reacted to this gameplay mechanic, I'm like, is this the special stages again? And I was uh, I was turning sound like in the wrong direction. But here we go. All right, get this switch over here. Then you want to go on the other side and get the other switch. Yep, it's, a, it's basically a speedrun now. But at least I'm not mad about it unlike Sonic 2. Where I was trying to force myself to play the game one day and it ended up ruining my mood. Which uh, I learned from that. I won't do that again. But either way, I still don't like Sonic 2. It doesn't matter if it was that or not. I don't like Sonic 2, period. Okay. Nice. Okay. And here's the boss level. I love this song still. I wish it was extended, man. Alright, this is basically Labyrinth Zone in Sonic 1. Okay. Oh, what? How did I fall for that trick again? I don't know if it's possible to defeat Eggman before he actually gets to the top. Uh... I don't know what speedruns do with this game. I haven't watched that many speedruns of this game. Alright. Alright, that's the a, that's a drowning music. That's the drowning music. Okay. Oh, come on. Jump all the way, Sonic. Alright. Yeah, that is a uni uni, by the way. That's what it looks like in 3D. Okay. Alright, and this is a very difficult part of the boss battle. I did not die here in the original recording. There we go. Final hit. It's not a difficult boss, but the crushing of the walls can definitely be a bit of a pain. And Sonic defeated the boss. The second time around. But that has been it for episode... Three is Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. Again, this should film better. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. 
uh, God bless you guys. I hope you guys have a good evening or a good rest of the day whenever you're watching this. And goodbye.